<sighs> What's up, fam? Kim Mosley here, aka K Dog, back with another Commanders video. Today's video is late coming. I was really busy, but I'm not gonna do it in my in my normal format, my re reaction video, because uh, let's keep it real. The game was kind of pedestrian. I mean, T Mac got his catches. It was way up there. Here's third and nine and a deep ball. Right back to McLaurin in stride. And he's down at the back. Brian Robinson got his touches. The one Achilles heel could be the run game, and Washington's incredible at it. Here's the breakaway run by Robinson. Zach Hurts got his catches. Making the throw. Flings it. Got his target. It's Ertz, the tight end. And, of course, Jaden Daniels, even with his rib injury, did his thing. Third and eight. Rolling out. Going to keep it. Tries to wiggle past, and he does. What a move to fit. But couldn't get in the end zone. But that's not the talk. The talk, as we know, is the Hail Mary. So here you He's go. He's gotten hit throughout the rest of the game, yeah. and it's hurting more now. Comes down to one last play. And it's going to be getting longer by the second. You're all the way back at the 30-yard line. Now you can step into it. Here comes the Hail Mary with the game on the line. And the ball is caught! Caught! It's a miracle! It's Noah Brown! Oh, my goodness! This town is going crazy! It's a madhouse in Landover, Maryland! Now, if you didn't think that we lost that game, you, you're a bold-faced lie. Because when I watched Caleb Williams bring them back and get the two-point conversion... My jaws was tight. I'm already assuming we're going to be five and three. Uh, five and three ain't bad. And then the Hail Mary. And I think I almost broke my bed jumping up and down. But some pros will say the Hail Mary is a luck play. And others will say luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Now, that Hail Mary could have been luck, but that Hail Mary was made possible by the coaching or lack thereof by the Chicago Bears staff. Because if you look at the last bit of that game, Tony Romo was calling the plays. What to run? So get up here and run an out route right now. Throw it. There it is, Tony. Right on your design. McLaurin out with two seconds. Come on now. And they had three timeouts. Three and didn't use none of them. None of them. A smart coach would have called a timeout to give his defensive line some rest and how to keep Daniels in the pocket. He would have used another timeout when he knew that that Hail Mary was coming. They didn't do neither one. And of course, Tariq Stevenson, see this is where you need good coaching. If you call a timeout to reiterate what we think and what we how we do in practice, this is what we're going to do in this situation. Maybe Tariq Stevenson wouldn't have been doing this after the game. Play was, I posted box out, 85, just cheering with some Bears fans, went taunting, no fans. It was just cheering with some Bears fans and the Washington fans reacted how they wanted to. My job was to box out 85 and I went up to hit the bars pretty much to knock it down, you know, interceptions and, in you know, especially in a close game like that. So just try to make a play for my team and, you know, either could have went, oh, Tyreek, you know, good pass, knocked down or in, we're in the situation we're in right now. Apologize. It's too late for that now. He's a laughing stock. While he jawjacking with the fans, 
Ball's already on, on its way. And where, where did he go? Right in the center instead of blocking out. Money. <laughs> All this could have been prevented with a couple timeouts. And would have, we would have been five and three. Now the Bears, who are the Bears slipped to? Four and three? Yeah. And we're six and two. And if they don't make the playoffs, they can probably, they will most definitely go back to that one play. But either way, JD dispatches Caleb Williams and moves on. Oh, <laughs> after the Hail Mary, watch. <laughs> watch Caleb Williams. Comes down to one last play. And it's going to be getting longer by the second. You're all the way back at the 30 yard line. Now you can step into it. Here comes the Hail Mary with the game on the line. And the ball is caught! Caught! It's a miracle! It's Noah Brown! Oh my goodness! This town is going crazy! Caleb Williams hot as hell. He hot as hell. But, <laughs> either way, I said I had, I said last week, if we won and the Cowboys lost, I had a little surprise for y'all. Here it comes. I got something for you, though. For all you Dallas fans, I got something I made just for you guys. <sighs> yeah. I'd have had that pot simmering all night. Low flame. You know what it is? Oh. Yeah. You know what it is? <sighs> a pot of hot ales. Oh, yeah. I've been cooking these a while. Just for a moment like this. Hot ales. Brewing, baby. Fresh off the stove. Brewing. Hot ales. Whew. Smell that. Smell that. Hot ales. Whew. Got plenty of them. Ooh. This one's for Dak Prescott. Yeah. <sighs> Wow, this one's for Ezekiel Elliott. Mm. Hot L's, baby. Hot L's. Oh, look, the biggest one? Whoa, I don't want to drop. That's for Mike McCarthy. Oh, hot L's. Ooh, smelling good. Hey, and know what? It's all you can eat, baby. All you can eat. And if y'all ever get hungry, I got hot L's. All the way till next season. Because that's how long y'all going to have to wait to get your ass back on the field. Hot L's. Ooh. 